This is my poster on art as healing as my art assignment. I'm just going to briefly explain a few of the articles and the main themes. This article is called Art as Healing by Edward Adamston. This article speaks about the growing phenomenon of art as healing in the, as its early days. It, it explains the process that Adamson went through to set up art as healing. He used to give lectures and facilitated art sessions to very ill patients. The facilitations were initially part of a psychiatric research project as painting was described as a form of treatment. Adamson had no psychology or psychiatric background. But his approach was his approach was close in spirit to that of C. G. Jung, an analytical psychologist who found that artistic processes alleviated trauma and stress in his patients. This article also speaks about the past decade and the effect, effects that psychologists have cautiously begun looking at how arts might be used in a variety of ways to heal emotions, increase understanding and oneself uh, of oneself and others, develop a capacity for self-reflection, reduce symptoms and alter behaviours and thinking patterns. I believe from reading this article that professions are beginning to recognise the role that creative art plays in the healing process. Some of the main themes in this article are expression, relief, building self-esteem and emotional well-being. These themes tie into the article to the left here. Art therapy for Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. The hypothesis that art therapy is an effective intervention for dementia is rooted in observations that some patients can do and produce art. Many tasks are difficult for people with dementia, but but being able to create a piece of art is a great bonus. An example of a person with dementia that still completes art is Dana Chambers. She's a professional painter diagnosed with dementia at the age of 49. She continued to paint with creativity after her mental status severely deteriorated. This article explains that art is framed as a therapeutic process to enhance well-being and it helps the psychotherapeutic process or the psychotherapeutic relationship between therapist and patient. It is easier for a person to use art instead of the traditional way as of talking. Elderly participants in the arts feel better and less lonely and need fewer medications and doctor visits. Evidence today suggests that artistic engagement may improve behaviour It provides pleasure and improves behaviour and affects the patients with dementia. Other benefits include enhanced self-esteem and improved communication and reduced anxiety and depression. Some of the main themes in this article are creativity, improving well-being, relationships, pleasure, communication and self-esteem. Which leads to this article up here at the top and left hand corner. This article explains that art therapy has been used in a variety of clinical settings. Although few studies have explored its use in cancer symptoms control. The aim of this study in the particular article was to determine the effect of a one-hour art therapy session on pain and other symptoms common to adult cancer in patients. Common symptoms for someone with cancer include pain, fatigue, anxiety and many more. In seeking relief, patients increasingly are turning to alternative and complementary therapies, reflecting the growing need for more comprehensive management of these cancer-related symptoms. In studies, it's shown that 80% of cancer patients may use some form of com- complementary therapy in conjunction with other standard medication treatments. Ha- they have found it to be effective in reducing symptoms, improving quality of life and enhancing cancer patients' ability to cope with distress. Our therapy is one of these complementary therapies being used. It is a clinical intervention based on the belief that the creative process involved in the making of art is healing and life-enhancing. It is used to help patients or their families increase awareness of self, cope with symptoms and adapt to stressful and traumatic experiences. 
The meaning and the power of the, these emotions are often often are not easily articulated using the verbal communication. It is the art itself that provides a vehicle for expression. Most of the current studies evaluated the use of art therapy in improving quality of life and emotional well-being, with few addressing its effect on physical symptoms. Some of the results from the study include 90% stated that the session distracted them and focused their attention onto something positive. 36% responded that the therapy was calming and relaxing. 12% felt productive and worthwhile, 24% felt that it was a pleasant activity, 6% commented that the art therapy had no effect. Majority of these results are positive. Although there was a decrease in most symptoms, a particularly surprising finding of the study was a reduction in tiredness expressed by these people. Some of the main themes in this article include relief, cope, expression, improving emotional well-being and pleasure. Which brings us over to this article in the right hand corner. Using art therapy to address adolescents' depression. This article speaks about art therapy allowing adults, adolescents to express their experiences, to verbally share or not share the content of their art products and to respond to any inter that the adult therapist might make about their creations. It can be quite difficult for adolescents to speak about their depression. Verbal therapies may fail to help adolescents with depression because the resistance to therapy is so strong and their sense of disillusionment is so pervasive. Our therapy provides a viable vehicle for treatment. A lens for viewing adolescents' perceptions through their own illustrations and narratives. Art making is less confrontive, less from, fam, sorry, less judgmental. When the adolescent is participating in art as therapy, they do the following: they control communication, they feel respected, and they intern- externalize problems. Letting adolescents express themselves creatively creatively, offers a greater possibility for understanding depression, its causes and ways to reduce or eliminate it. The main themes in this article include expression, communication, problem solving, connections, relationships and engagement. Which brings us over to the last article, Art Therapy with People with Severe Mental Illnesses. Art therapy with severe mental illness can be deeply rewarding and effective work. It can be intensely gratifying to build connections with and between people who have felt entirely alone to provide hope to those who feel hopeless and to guide them in using arts tools and processes to develop a sense of meaning and purpose. By connecting with clients in a real and genuine fashion, therapists become models for how to connect with others. In successful art therapy groups, people with mental illnesses often develop empathy and compassion for one another, sometimes for the first time in their lives. They begin to develop interpersonal confidence and they can carry with them beyond the art therapy group and into their lives. Some people with mental illnesses consider artistic creativity to be a compensatory benefit of their lives. Some of the main themes in this article is connections, relationships, self-esteem and engagement. As you can see from all these arrows, most all of the articles connect in some way possible. For instance, relationships connect to this article here. That is my poster. Thank you.